Pablo Gunner here at Santa Fe Comic Con with Underoos. Hey. And uh, Double D. Hi. The daredevil of, uh, of what is it? Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. Okay, Hell's Kitchen. Off to a good start. This guy's, this guy's on it. So, what is your occupation? Uh, I'm a vigilante. And on your not vigilante? You don't know who I am, so you can't know that. <laughs> I do. I know. I know. And, and what about you? I'm just a high school student, dude. I don't do much. He's just a kid, okay? He's just a kid trying to make the, the world a better place. So what did you think of, uh, of Homecoming? It was the best movie I've seen in my entire years of life. I'm sorry, then. <laughs> it was so filled with action. I was in it. It was pretty cool. That's it. Okay, cool. And uh, what about you? Great movie. Great characters, the way it was written. It broke the formula of, you know, a pure bad guy. It had a bad guy that you kind of felt for. And that makes a great movie right there. Okay, cool. Right on. Yeah, you got you, got, got you there. Uh, what is that your favorite movie, Spider-Man movie? Favorite Spider-Man movie, definitely. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and if you had to rank them, how would you rank them? Probably go Spider-Man Homecoming, Amazing Spider-Man, then uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2, and then the one with Tobey Maguire going from 1, 2 to 3. Okay, Spider-Man Homecoming, number one. Right. Amazing Spider-Man 2 is second. The first Amazing Spider-Man movie was kind of weak, but I really like Spider-Man 3, so that's third, and then everything else just kind of fills in. Okay. All right, fellas. Can you name all of the Spider-Men? All of the Spider-Men? All of them. All of how them. Many? Let's see how many you can name. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, Miles Morales. Yes. Peter Parker, uh -huh. obviously. Uh, we got, uh, who's Spider-Man 2099? Actually, uh, Miguel O'Hara. Miguel O'Hara, uh, the Scarlet Spider. Yes, Ben. Ben Riley. Yes. And yeah, that's it for me. So, uh, in your opinion, what's the best Marvel Netflix show? I'm gonna have to go with uh, clear bias. I'm gonna go Daredevil, but if I'm going based off of how well it was directed, I'm gonna say Luke Cage because they handled that show really well exploring the african-american hero in harlem which is a predominantly african-american neighborhood and i felt like they just did a great job of explaining and following through with the character and the many characters that interact with it his backstory is great that was beautiful thank you very much you deserve an award for that and what about you i'm a little less stop less spoken than he is i'm just gonna go with daredevil okay <laughs> it's those fight scenes man they're so good those fight scenes, the hallway one, and then and then the stairwell. Oh, so amazing, so amazing. But yeah, you're right, you're right on the Luke Cage. Oh yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a good time. That's it, fellas. That's that's all I got for you right now. So, good job. Thank you very much for your opinions Thank you. and thoughts.